Okay guys, so this is my friend Allison and I'm actually doing her makeup today so I'm going to show you guys what I do. So I'm taking the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I'm applying that to her lids as I always do with every makeup look that I do. And then I did set that with the MAC Powder and NC15. Now I'm going to take this first color. This is my Luxie Beauty Z palette and the color that I am using is called Dirty. This is just a perfect color for the transition just so we can start applying different colors as we go. And I actually forgot to show the clip of the other shadow that I'm applying here but it's another Luxie Beauty eyeshadow and it's called Weakness and I just wanted a little bit more yellowiness into there. Then I'm going to take this purple shadow. She did want a look that's incorporated purple, so we ju we were just kind of going with the flow. And this is actually Coastal Sense Hot Pot, and the color in this one is Violetta. And then I took a second color, which is more of a dark burgundy purple, just so I can bring out the purple in there a little bit more, and that one's called Burnt umber so as you guys can see you definitely don't need high-end products to create a really nice look it's all in the technique and in the work after that I did apply another shadow on to her lid and this one is also from Luxie Beauty I will have the name because I don't have it in front of me but she wanted gold on her lid so I applied it with a synthetic brush and with some setting spray just to create a little bit more vibrance Then I took the Joanna Vargas Daily Serum. You guys know how I feel about this. It's amazing and I really like it. So I sprayed that all over her face with this little synthetic brush and I just let that soak in for about five minutes. Then I went in with the NYX Angel Veil as a primer because she has dry to normal skin I guess. Some areas are dry and then her t-zone gets a little bit oily she said throughout the day. So we just applied this because she uses this herself and she loves it. By the way Allison is my boyfriend's cousin and she's been one of my best friends for the past couple of years. So we had so much fun. Now I'm going to take the MAC Studio Sculpt in um and NC15 or NW15 I'm not sure. It was a little bit light for her even though she is freaking pale I always make one of her pale skin as you can see I'm so dark compared to her but at the end I think it looked really good so I just apply that to her neck to her forehead and pretty much blended it all over took my MAC NC15 concealer and I applied that underneath her eyes just to bring a lot more brightness underneath the eyes. I also took that to the sides of her nose to make it appear a little bit smaller. This is the first time that I filmed me doing somebody else's makeup so I'm sorry if my angles are not right or if you can't see something very good but next time I will try to do it better so leave me a comment and let me know what kind of eyelids you guys want me to do ne next? Monolids or just let me know and I will try to film something for you guys. I did set that concealer with the NC15 powder. I'm taking the NYC Smooth Skin Powder. This is a translucent powder and I just baked under underneath her eyes just so we can create a more flawless finish and so we can prevent her face from getting oily throughout the day. Then I'm going to go in with a Hoola bronzer. I love this bronzer because it's so versatile. It looked really good on her skin. She definitely is, like I said, more light skin. So it looks a little bit more of a bronzer than an actual contour. But I also took that to her forehead. Not too much because she does have a smaller forehead. But I did just want to balance out everything. And then I also took that to her jawline because you got to cut that jaw, honey. Now I'm going to move on to her eyebrows and I'm so sorry about this. We didn't realize that my camera actually filled up. So I, I didn't really show the process of me doing her eyebrows but she has really nice eyebrows to begin with. So I just really just shaped them to however you know she liked them and just followed her natural eyebrow line and they looked actually pretty good. They look really good. So we, I did that and then I did the eyeliner which this is 
what I struggle with the most. So with every client that I have, I struggle so much with the eyeliner, but at the end, it looked really, really good. She really liked her wing liner, and I think the makeup overall came out pretty good. This is a side that I was just struggling with the most. This side actually came out pretty good, but still, I just had to go back and forth a few times to just perfect it. Now I took this bronzer by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I forgot the name of it, but I used this to contour her nose just to make it, again, look a little bit thinner on the sides. And I did the same thing on the other side. And then on her nostrils, I did draw a line just to make her nose, again, appear a little bit shorter than what it is. And then after that, I went in with my Tarte Light Powder, again, just to make the, sm the small, the nose appear a little bit smaller, and I just let that sit for a few minutes. I did spray some Fix Plus spray just so I can set everything in place, and then I applied some lashes. The lashes that I put on her are Goddess by Coco Lashes, and they look absolutely gorgeous on her. She has really pretty big eyes. To fix any mistake and to get rid of that lash glue, I did go back with a cream gel eyeliner by e.l.f. and I just corrected everything. And then for the lower lash line, I just repeated the same steps. I did skip out on the purple for the lower lash line and it looked really pretty on her. I took the Jeffree Star highlight in a King Toot and as you can see, she did look up before her eyeliner dried. So I am going to go back and fix that, but this highlight looks so pretty on her light skin. I applied it to her cheekbones, the center of her chin, and the tip of her nose, and the center of her forehead as well. And as you can see here, once it dries, I just went back and I cleaned everything up and it looks so, so good. So just be patient if you ever do this. And then here we were just trying to decide what lipstick to go with and she's a bad bitch. So <laughs> we went with a dark lipstick which totally complemented the look and it looks so pretty. I will have the name of it. These are the new NYX Liquid Suede Lip Creams. And that is it. This is a transformation for my girlfriend. I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!